crawfish season is finally upon us <laughs> after the unusually cold winter. Well, businesses were starting to feel the pinch of low harvest numbers. Feel the pinch. I get it. And while warmer weather is quickly alleviating these worries, finding mud bugs in stock might not be as easy as you think. Local 15's Christina Zverjeko dug deep into the story today. Now, Christina, what do we need to know to satisfy our crawfish craving? Well, crawfish is so high in demand right now that it's really creating a consumer-driven shortage. But there is good news, and that is lower prices. Crawfish, crawfish, and more crawfish. It's a hot ticket item this time of the year. Five, six thousand pounds maybe this weekend. By the peak of the season, we'll be doing ten thousand a, a day. With such high demand, some stores can't keep up on the weekend, selling out before the end of the day. But R and R Seafood in Spanish Fort says they always have enough mud bugs for everyone. Now the supplies are coming in. The weather was cold. It was hard to get in and harvest them, and now they're just now really starting to move. And while the cold weather drove down harvest numbers, it drove up the prices, creating a deficit. The crawfish shortage has become so much of a problem that some businesses completely stopped carrying it on their menus. Order up one time. Cravers and Daphne is one of those businesses. The overhead that's in it and the prices that are in it, with it being so high, there's really just not a high profit margin in it. So it's just one of those things why I deal with it. But restaurants that couldn't imagine not dealing with these crackable delights are finally starting to see a little bit of a cost break. With just today, prices dropping almost 50 cents a pound. The prices were high at the beginning of the season. They're coming down now, and they're coming down rapidly. So it's more affordable, more people are getting out and eating them now. Crawfish will be in season through the early summer, and prices are expected to continue dropping just a little bit. Live in Baldwin County Bureau, Christina Zerjako, Local 15 News.